Right, as part of the knee course coming up, I'm going to show you how we progress the quadricep stretching and how we integrate some other stretches to combine into different stretching. And I'll show you what I mean. So if you're trying to work on stretching out your quads, what I like, my favorite exercise for that, is going into a kneeling position, what we call quads kneeling, but your foot up on a glass, well, on a wall. It doesn't have to be the glass. Now with this, what you're aiming for is to try and get into an almost like a lunge pattern position. Now at that point, you should be able to feel a little bit of quad stretch already. Now this is the baseline quadricep stretch exercise that we give people. Now there's regression versions, progression versions, and also combination versions. So now I'll show you what I mean. This part here, obviously, when you're stretching like this, you've got to squeeze your glute, you've got to tilt your pelvis back to get as much stretch through all quadricep and the rectus femoris stretch. Now, some people, they're just too tight in the hip flexor, so they might have to work on some hip flexor exercises, but at this point there, if they cannot get to that point there, okay, what they need to do is regress that back to this point here and just focus on trying to get that posterior tilt to get at least some quadricep stretching through there and some glute work here to help that activation to try and get you know contraction at the back to release the front that sort of opposite co-contraction stuff so from here this is your base okay and we, from this point here there's also a regression version from here some people can't kneel on the ground like that on a hard surface so put something under it now easiest thing in the gym grab a bosu because guess what that's soft it also elevates you a little bit more. So if you're running out of range in your mobility, this is a great start. And with this one, you can just put the BOSU at the right spot. If you put it too far back, they're gonna to get too much flexion here, too much stretch there. Some people also don't have enough knee range, so they can't even get back there. So you might wanna bring it forward a bit into here. Okay, so you can see now I've actually got way less flexion of my knee, but I can still work on clenching my glute to get the stretch down the quad. So I can still get a decent quad stretch, and my kneecap's heavy because it's on a soft surface, all right? And I don't have too much knee flexion, so I don't have a massive amount of stretch through the quad, okay? So that's how you sort of almost regress it. Now, if you're at home, just use a pillow, just use a wall, don't worry about the BOSU. Okay, so there's always alternatives to what you're trying to do in the gym um, at home. Now. Let's see if we can progress that. Now, what I like to do is, and again, this is almost an alternative, is you use a sofa or a couch, okay? So now, with the progression, is you can get right back into here, okay? So you get your knee right up. Now you notice that I can now put my foot here, all right? So I can really get right back. And this is this whole one where you actually start pushing backwards and getting right back into this position without hyperextending your back. You've got to keep your glute on, so you really have to focus on can you posterior tilt in that position and push right back into there, and that'll give even bigger stretch through there, all right? Now, you can do that on the wall, but it involves a lot of plantar flexion. Some people don't have that, okay? So if you're trying to do that on a wall up into here, and you're trying to get down right down back there, it, re it relies you to take a lot of plantar flexion here, and they just, once they've got this point, there's a lot of neural tension going on here, they just go, oh, I can't do that. So usually the sofa is your best progression for that down into here because you can just get that foot out of the way into there and then progress coming back into there. How do you progress that even further? Go one step higher, okay? So go right up onto here and get into this position. Now, the way this progresses is you think, well, how's that progress? Because now I can come forward and that's really putting through the front. So when you elevate, you take into play a lot more pelvic positioning. So I can now come back into here and really push that I can push through the glass, clench that, and that really works through the front. So great progression for that one, okay? Now, if you want to involve a few other muscle groups, so this is where we combine things. If you want to involve the hip flexor a little bit more, you want to involve a bit more groin, you have to come back down and go forward. Now this sort of goes back into a bit of a hip flexor type, or hip flexion type exercise. So you go back down the floor into here, you go back into your quad stretch, then you come down into your hip flexion stretch, okay? So at this point here, I've got a big stretch through there again, still got my glute on, but now I'm getting a bit of groin and hamstring, and I'm working on hip flexion on this side. So this one's actually a really good combo, if you're flexible enough, to work on 
two areas at the same time saves a bit of time okay for those athletes who've got a little bit of time haven't got much time up their sleeve this sort of position is really really good okay and then as you come down trying to get further and further and further and further down by still maintaining your glute and pushing that hip forward so there's a whole series of combinations and progressions and reactions that you can work on and that's the sort of thing we are working through on our course in October. See you then.